guys. Um, but we're back. So we were talking about, of course, being part of the national team for Puerto Rico, the 19U team. Um, what an amazing accomplishment for such, such young ladies. I want you guys to tell me what it meant to, you know, be part of this team um, and what was like, you know, for each one of you to be there at this World Cup. Let's start with Amina. Well, I thought it was amazing to represent Puerto Rico and just to just give all we got to just see how far we went and just to see what we could do the best, like how we would perform and how good we would do. And it would just, it was fun. It was like, enjoy, like I enjoyed every moment of it and at all the early mornings of practices and getting up early to practice before our games. It was like amazing and meeting every teammate going against girls that were way older than me that were already in college and seeing the pitching I saw. I mean, I don't think I will ever see that pitching until I'm in college again because I was seeing girls that were from college already that already were in their second year of college. So seeing that was cool too. Because you went at that, in that tournament, you were how old? 15? I was 15. Yeah, yep. absolutely. Um, for you, Macy, you were only, what, 13? I think you were the, the youngest player, right? Yes, in the whole tournament. In the whole tournament. So how was that like? I mean, you're pitching against, you know, you pitched against, I believe it was uh, Japan. Or China. China. It was yeah, China. China. That was a really, really good game. It was a good team. So tell me about that. Uh, how, how was that for you? I was very, very nervous at first. Like when I walked out there for my first inning, I was really nervous and just, I didn't know what to expect. So I was gave my hardest effort and it went pretty well. We won, so that was really good. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, how was it, how did you guys get approached? Just so everybody knows, you guys are from Puerto Rico, are Puerto Ricans because you have, I believe both of your dads are from Puerto Rico or is your mom's too? My, my dad and mom. Oh, both of Just them. my dad. And and then Macy, your dad. So that's why they you guys were able to get into. But how did were you guys approached to but you know to become part of this team? Well, I think my dad got a call from a Puerto Rican, like someone far that knows the whole thing about the softball and was like, Hey, like come try out and see like if you want to do it. And I tried out and it was like a cool experience because it's like, dang, I'm gonna support my country like cool. yeah you, Macy? um well i went to a uf florida the gators camp down in gainesville and um carla claudio was there and she was the um uh, an assistant coach on the team and um she was there at the camp and my dad was talking like small talk with her and mentioned that we were puerto rican and she just told us to go out and try out and that's how that all started yeah, absolutely. You know, it's a different experience. You know, you both come from travel teams, you know, one in Georgia, one in Florida. You know, you guys come from places that softball is major, you know, um, softball basically is life, right? Absolutely. And I think that, you know, when you when you have that experience, it really does not prepare you for what you're about to see in the international level. Am I correct? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. What was so different about, you know, being on a travel team, going on a tournament, than standing there with all these countries? The whole world is watching you play. Like, that's crazy. Every country is basically there. Like, everybody's just sitting there either in person or online, just sitting there watching you. So that's Seeing kind of girls crazy. from different countries, too. That was, like, a big thing. Like, the way they dress, like, the different things they did. It was like, wow, that's crazy. Even their mechanics are totally different than how we yeah. do it here in Puerto Rico. They're just the way that they swing, the bats they swing, the way that they feel the ground ball might be a little different. So, yeah. That's interesting that you guys bring that up. Absolutely. You know, Macy, you had an amazing uh, tournament. You pitched very well. Um, you came out, I believe, three times, I think, that you came out in the tournament um, to pitch, obviously, in different games. You know, which one was the the most um, important for you? Definitely China, because that was my first game out there. And I felt like our team played really, really good. 
that that was like our team. I felt like we played really, really good that game, and our team actually bonded throughout that game. And I feel like that game set our path for the rest of the tournament. And you, Amina? I think China was a great game too. Everybody had to work together in order to win that game. If we didn't, we wouldn't have. There were definitely times throughout the game. Yeah, absolutely. You did amazing too, Amina. You had um, really good hitting uh, streak at, the, at that tournament. You're doing very well. Um, you're are you a natural lefty? I need to ask that. I was like a righty a little bit when I was younger, and then my dad saw that I was fast, and he was like, "I'm gonna turn you into a lefty." So then after that, I didn't know how to swing righty again. Like it was no, just right. it came natural to me. Yeah, absolutely. You have a lot of people. Um, I can see the comments right now that they're sending. Um, William Quinones says, great to watch Amina, number 17, and Macy, number four, play at the level and have great success. A lot of people are sending you tons of love here in this interview, so that's really cool that, you know, you guys have tons of fans. So, you know, you guys were supposed to, we were talking about this before the interview, it's the fact that right now, or we could have been somewhere else right now. You guys had another tournament coming uh, that was supposed to be, um at the it was right now in august right yeah yes where were you guys gonna go peru actually peru so i mean corona has really put a stamp to everything i think or stopped for everything and you know how does that feel that you know you guys could have been there and and just com continuing that you know uh, drive of being part of the national team and just do so many different international tournaments. Kind of upsetting because it would have been a different thing. We would have been in Peru. Like that's totally different. I heard like stories about like the buses we were going to have to get on, like certain stuff like that. Like it would have been way, like it would have been cool. It would have been a good experience. I think it would have been cool to like catch up with our friends that we played with before. Um, probably some of them probably would have been on that so it would have been, I kind of missed out. We missed out on, you know, catching up with people and then also being in Peru. Like, who gets to go to Peru? You know? Yeah, exactly. that's pretty cool. well, yeah. On a daily basis. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, someone just said right now in, in our comments, Macy, that you're ranked um, right now uh, as part of the 2024 uh, graduating class. You're just a freshman, my lord. Yes. Um, but what people don't know is that you throw pretty fast. <laughs> yeah yeah come on you can say I, try. I mean yeah you do <laughs> what's your speed right now um i topped out at 68 um consisted around 66 67 yeah so my but my pitches fluctuate in speed depending on what i throw and of course what's your arsenal right now what, what does that look like well i've been working on keeping you know keeping my endurance up mainly because you know we haven't been playing a lot and I don't want to go out next season and not be impressive I always want to show my best and work my hardest so that I can always you know produce for my team and that type of thing but um a lot of drills not really throwing a lot of games just because season's over for us but I have my first high school game tomorrow so I'll start throwing more in games for now so just a lot of indoor training. And um, we were talking about it uh, before we started the show, and it was that you, in Georgia, you do softball now, correct? Like this, yes. this, okay. And so right now you guys are, you know, you're a freshman going into, you know, school right now. How is that like? It's totally different, you know, from middle school. But I think that, do you think the Puerto Rico – experience and going to that world cup did that actually help you to what's to come for your team for you know your high school season it definitely did because some of the hitters i had to pitch against were top hitters in the whole world so you never really get to see that so i think it definitely helped me mature as a pitcher and see like when i miss my spot how the ball gets hit and that type of thing. so you know it also helped me you know, learn how that I have to hit my spots. I have to be consistent and be able to pitch around people. Like that, so, absolutely. I mean, you've been pretty busy this summer, and I think that you know, 
<laughs> yeah, um, I heard and, and they we're talking about it right now also and during the comments is that you've had all summer long about 11 home runs already in three tournaments. Is that correct? Yeah, yes, I did. That's crazy. 11 in three tournaments. How is that? Yep. I mean, I've been really working hard, like hitting the ball, like I'm trying, like I've hit pretty much every day. So whenever I'm trying my hardest, so it all comes from my work. Are you more of a power hitter or do you slap? Yeah, I'm a power hitter pretty much. I don't really slap that much, but I can get bunts down. So you're pretty fast. Yeah. And you are in so. field, right? Yes, I play in field. Pretty much middle in the field. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, but your season is not until spring, correct? Yeah. Yeah. So we don't play till spring. Yeah. Well, I mean, so right now is like a time to work your hardest, like work out and go to the gym and hit and field balls, like ground balls by yourself. All independent work. I think, and I'm I'm so glad that you both said that, that, you know, it takes a lot of hard work to be who you want to be, to continue to work on your craft, because, you know, whether season is here, whether season is still a little bit far away, um, if you're not working every single day, things are not going to come for you. Um, and I think that that's a great message that you guys are, you know, whether your parents are instilling in you, but also the fact that you're saying this so that other young girls that are watching right now, you know, what's what's something that you would like to say to these girls that are out there right now that maybe were not able to have a summer season because of coronavirus, you know what I mean? So it should what should they be doing right now to prepare for that? I think that you just go ahead, you can okay. go. No, you can go, Macy. Okay. I just think that they you need to work by yourself, like that's even if you have team practice, that's not enough. You still need to be working by yourself. Hard work pays off. Hard work beats talent that does not work. So, you know, I think that you should obviously work by yourself and always have, like, don't give up ever. Always have a good mentality that even if you're not having a good day, you can still go and get better on your own and work hard. So, good. Yeah. I would say the same thing. It's all about your work ethic. If you don't have work at work ethic, then that's you're not gonna you can't get anywhere really. So if you work hard, it will prove something. Well, you know, so. we're talking about you know how you guys instilling this stuff in, in young girls, and somebody just mentioned right now, my daughter is number four because of Macy. She looks up to her since she was in you. Um, so that's so cool. I mean, I'm sure that you have a lot of girls that look up to you there where you live because, you know, you guys are the top players right now where you're at right now, which is, I think, really, really cool. Um, let's talk about what's happening. You know, like we were talking about earlier, coronavirus has completely changed the way we do things. Not only, you know, the way we go to school, but also the way we're playing this sport. And I think it'll be interesting to hear from both of you as to how things have, you know, changed a little bit. I want to start with Macy, since you, your season is already here. How was it um, or how's it been? You know, you, you were talking about tryouts and it's just so crazy how things have changed a little. Yeah. So obviously for Georgia's um, high school, like rules and stuff. Um, I have my first game tomorrow for high school and we all have to wear masks in the dugout. Um, just little things like that, that, you know, nobody likes to do, but you kind of have to do it if you want to end up playing. So, um, yeah, I just think that obviously it's not fun to have to wear a mask in the dugout and stuff, but I just think that, you know, you have to do what you have. To. That's how it's going to be from now on. Right. So, do you have to wear your face mask in the field or no? Not even when you're running? Because we've seen no. that I made, but I just was wondering. Yeah, so um, they said that inside the dugout you have to wear it. That's all I've heard as of right now, but it, that could change in a few weeks or even a few days after these first few games get out. So we might end up having to wear the ones that you pull up uh, when you're running the bases and stuff. So. 
it's hard, you know, it's, it's already hard as it is when you're running and you're trying to breathe and you're trying to, you know, do so many things, you know, I can only imagine how, you know, these are not going to be the only rules. I don't think that that's going to happen. Um, how about for you? Uh, I, I mean, uh, like how does it change? You've played so many tournaments already this summer. Yeah. My travel ball tournaments, it's been different. It hasn't been how it usually is. The, Parents and everybody watching are sitting in the outside of the fences of the outfield and putting their chairs down there. And when you come up to the concession stand, you have to wear a mask. And actually, as a matter of fact, some girls wear masks while they're playing, like running the bases in the outfield, everything like that. And it's just is different, that, something that. Is that their choice or is that. Yes, that, 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 that yeah. That's been their choice. The everybody, like all the tournaments that I've been to and the parks that I've been to, they don't make you wear fully masks the whole time. That's just that's not what they've done. But I've seen a few girls wear masks while they're playing. And when like someone hits a home run or something, you can't even go to the home plate to be proud of them or tap on their helmet or cheer for them. So different. Yeah, air high fives. Yep. Or stand six feet apart, only like four people out there saying congrats and just different. It really is. I mean, you come from these this amazing World Cup, you know, then you go back home, you keep playing, and then this thing happens, like how we've completely changed from a year ago, right? You know, you a yeah. year ago we're at this World Cup and a year ago now guess what? We're dealing with this and it's just been absolutely hard for everyone. Yeah. Yeah. How about school? How's that going with school? You know, I, again, you know, it is not just on the out, out on the field, but it's also, you know, in your class too. We have to wear masks at school now. So I only go every other day to school. So um, it's part of our school uniform. We have to wear masks. The school gives you two masks, and if you lose those, then you have to buy your own, obviously. But um, my class sizes are like 10 kids in the class, so it's kind of easier to social distance. But um, I, I have a lot of older teachers, so that's another issue that could come up. Like, you know, they could end up getting sick easier, you know, because they're old, obviously older. But um I mean, it's just something I guess we have to do. So. Yeah. Amina, you haven't started school yet, right? We haven't started school yet, but we'll see how it goes. We're supposed to be six feet apart, I guess, during school. And I don't know how that's going to work, hallways and all. It's just, we'll see how it works. But I'm only going to be there for three periods. So I'll be there for six, seven, fifth, six, and seven. So I'm going to be doing dual enrollment college classes. So. Amina, let's about your future you kind of already maybe know what you're going to do um but let's talk about that because uh this this happened before the rule that everybody knows right now that it's a big no-no <laughs> but yeah. obviously happened for you though which i think it's amazing you know it's an amazing opportunity so um what's the future like right now and what happened then well, whenever I was in eighth grade, the summer of eighth grade, I verbally committed to UCF before the rule passed. And I just loved UCF's campus, loved the coaches. And it was just, it felt like a fit for me. So I'm hoping to major in science, something around there, like something in science and then minor in Spanish to get fluent in it. Yay, Spanish, so. that's good. I yeah. Love it. And, um, you know, for those young girls out there who, you know, their dream is to play for a division one school, you know, that's, that's all they want to do, obviously, you know, what's something that you would want to say to them, you know, yes, you were committed um, when you were in middle school, but you know, there's a lot of pressure there as well. Yeah, there is. It's, it's different because actually, I think actually the Puerto Rican team going to the World Cup helped that a lot, actually getting, because now I'm used to it. Like I, college coaching, college coaches watching me, it doesn't really like bother me. I just play how I normally play. It's no different as I was in front of literally the whole world, like felt like, so. Yeah. You just so play it, like uh, you. It, it totally changes you, I think. Um, it's a different mentality, different ball game, different everything, different rules too. Um, yeah. There's 
completely different rules than, you know, international goal than it is right now for high school or, or even travel. Um, even for pitchers too, Macy, right? Like, did you have to kind of change the way you pitch for that tournament for international ball or were you okay with everything? I was pretty much okay with everything. The only thing that really was different was that um, I had 20 seconds from the time the ball was caught to the catcher to, to pitch the next ball. And, you know, sometimes that was like hard, but I pretty, it was fine. It was different, but it was, I did fine. So. Yeah, I was going to say something about that, Macy. I was going to ask how long it was. I kind of forgot, but I even remember the yeah. timer at the top sometimes. Some of the fields had timers for 20 seconds so that you would remember. That was weird. That was never, it's never it was a huge that. timer. It was like right behind home plate. Yeah. Too. <laughs> I'm sure it was very uh, distracting at some point, especially oh, yeah. us pitchers who are like, oh my God, I have to hurry. Or yeah. <laughs> I can imagine. Um, Macy, what's the future looks like for you right now? I mean, you're, um, you're a freshman, so. <laughs> Yeah. So this fall, I'm really focusing on school ball because I'm obviously a freshman this year. So and I made varsity. So that's really my main focus for the fall. Um, yeah, just putting in a lot of work, a lot of hours. So have you gotten, you know, any kind of response from different colleges or is there something that you're looking at? Yeah, so um, I've been obviously looking, emailing a lot of schools. That's very important to email coaches and, you know, send them out your schedule so that they can watch you play, like, you know, watch you play, like, better competition and in all your different aspects. So, like, school ball, um, especially travel ball, that's really important. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much what I've been doing. I can't really talk to any coaches until my junior year anyways, so – I mean, I just email them out. They can't really answer, but, you know, they'll send me questionnaires and when they have their next camp that they would like to see me at. So that that type of stuff. Is there a, a school that you really would like to go to? Like, is there something that what's your goal? I, I guess that's where I'm trying to go to. I really want to play, obviously, D1 ball, probably in the SEC. Um, yeah, so I don't really have – I have my top 10 schools that I pretty much email on a co consistent basis and stuff, but no schools for right now. Cause I don't really know what I want to be yet. So, I mean, I'm obviously any school that would like to give me a scholarship. That's like obviously a good accomplishment for me and stuff. So no, not really one particular school. Okay. That's good. You know, I think that another thing that we need to talk about is the fact that it's not just softball but also that you guys have to be good in school too because grades do matter. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. When I grew up, like my parents coached me in travel ball since I was like six. And um, every week we would have grade checks or like every two weeks we'd have grade checks on our team. So like everybody would bring in their report card. And if you had below a C, you would get suspended for two practices because your grades weren't good enough. So you'd have to practice. And that was instilled in me from age six. So my parents are really big on grades. Like I have to have honor roll every time. So that's good. it's kind of expected. So, yeah. I love that. And you, Amina? I, I genuinely get in trouble if I bring home a B. So, I mean, it's very hard to bring home a B. So. Yeah, me too. <laughs> so you Most guys Bs. No beans. No. Oh, let's not do that at all. <laughs> That's so funny. I'm glad. Um, is there any, I know that you guys made so many um, friends, you know, and these are, you know, friendships that will last for a very long time, you know, in the team, in the Puerto Rico team. Um, is there anyone that you guys may be, I'm sure they're watching right now. Uh, that you, know, you want to say like, hey, you know, I really miss you, or do you miss one of the girls like specifically, or? Kathy and Carmen, they went to California with us. We, us four, were like together all the time in Cali. Us four were like, four. yeah, that were like we were together all the time in SB Co. We were all together. We were all the Americans from. The Puerto Rican team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. English, so. uh, we are all Americans, remember? <laughs> yeah, but we all live in the States. That's I know. It. Giving you a hard time. <laughs> I'm just giving you a hard I miss time. our coaches too. That's a big yeah. one. Love. No, 
absolutely. Coaches are always the the best, I think. Um, you know, you always get, you know, attached to them and things like that. So did did you, Macy and Amina, did you guys knew each other before going over there or were you guys met at the Puerto Rico team? Yeah, we met. Yeah. Well, actually at the tryouts. Yeah, we met each other at tryouts. I have knew I knew of her before tryouts and stuff, yeah. but we never really met before. And now you guys obviously talk all the time and things like that, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. That's awesome. Do you guys, um, I know that you were talking about, Macy, that, you know, your parents coached you when you were little. Um, are your parents big in softball or in, in baseball? Does that go in the family? Yeah, so my mom played college ball, played softball her whole life. And then my dad, he played baseball his whole life, too. He played semi-pro balls. My parents obviously knew that I was going to play softball and my brother was going to play baseball. So <laughs> it, it's just stamped. I mean, you, yeah, you can't. just there. Yep, absolutely. And for you, Amina? My dad played baseball and so did my brother. So I was kind of surrounded around it like my whole life growing up, like two years old and I was at the baseball field already. So watching my brother play baseball. So yeah, absolutely. I've been surrounded. Okay. I cannot wait to see what's in store for both of you. I know that we're going to be able to get to see you guys play even more with the Puerto Rico national team. You know, we did see how, um, again, the virus affected the Olympics, you know, and that that was something that I think everybody was waiting for, you know, um, especially bringing back the sport of softball back into the international level, specifically, you know, in the Olympics, because you guys, you know, were able to, to do the World Cup and things like that. But I think you guys, do you guys realize you guys are going to be the future of Puerto Rico softball? You know, the ones that were there before, um, you know, where you have Megan Keene and you have all the other girls who, you know, were also in D1 schools who really put Puerto Rico in a huge spot internationally, you know, or top ranked number five in the nation. So uh, you guys have a lot of big, uh, you know, big shoes to fill, but how do you guys feel about that, that, you know, you guys are really the future of this team? I'm excited. Yeah, yeah. exciting. Mm -hmm. like yeah, and you should be excited because, you know, again, hard works pays off, you guys. Keep hitting home runs, Amina, for sure. <laughs> you're going to do very well. well. Um, and I'm sure, Macy, you're going to do amazing in this season. We're going to be watching you both. Um, and maybe we can bring you guys back, you know, to see how everything is going, you know, with your um, season. And then maybe, Amina, if anything comes up, you know, obviously we can definitely bring you guys back. Yes. Thank you. Yay. Thank you. Good. It was nice to meet you guys. And thank you so mm -hmm. much for for coming on and just you know talk a little bit about softball which is what we love the most thank you thank so you much for having for me thank you thank you bye go puerto rico bye. yes <laughs>